William Farrell. He was born as the youngest son to a noble family who followed Roman Catholic tradition near Gap in Dauphine, France in 1489. As a child, he was known for his fearless and heroic spirit. Since William was a child, he had a distinct and bold personality. His parents raised him to observe the traditions and the spiritual practices, and it was said that he was more popish than the Pope himself. What he did, he did fully with no fear. He was known as courageous, adventurous, and daring. William did not accept defeat. William, whose nature it was to do nothing by halves, threw his whole soul into the follies of popery. He could cross himself, go to the confessional, respond at the mass, adore the wafer, count his beads, pray to the Virgin Mary, eat no meat on Friday, and tell the saints' days in a manner that must have delighted the parish priest. While studying at the University of Paris, Pharrell was taught the doctrine of justification by faith by Jacques Lefebvre de Tablet, a shadowy figure in the Reformation. While listening to Lefebvre, Pharrell was inspired to seek the scriptures. As Pharrell studied the word, he understood the biblical truth. Pharrell said, Now everything appears to me in a new aspect. Scripture is cleared up, prophecy is opened, the apostles shed a strong light upon my soul. A voice, till now unknown, the voice of Jesus, my shepherd, my master, my teacher, speaks to me with power. In 1521, William Pharrell went to Meur, France, where he received authority to preach. His travels included Switzerland, eastern France, and southern Germany. His fearless preaching turned entire cities to the Lord, and he seemed to never run out of energy. Because he actively spoke out against the work of the Pope, the Roman Catholic Church hated him. Once, as he was preaching, a priest took a shot at him. Pharrell spun around to face him and said, I am not afraid of your shots, and went right back to his message. He is the only reformer whose statue expresses his fiery personality. In one hand is a Bible, with his finger marking the passage from where he is about to preach. His other hand is formed in a fist, representing his intense personality. While we can, if we choose, criticize Pharrell for his vehemence and tactlessness, as his contemporaries often did, one wonders sometimes whether the times in which we live do not require preachers of equal courage. His trust was in God, and he was intent on doing the Lord's work with no regard for himself. Pharrell sought Calvin out to have him stay in Geneva to pastor the city, as Pharrell saw himself as an evangelizer rather than a preacher. He tried to convince Calvin to stay, but he wanted a quiet life of study. Pharrell then bellowed, I declare in the name of the Lord that if you do not assist us in this work of the Lord, the Lord will punish you for following your own interest rather than this call. Calvin was overwhelmed by the threat of God's judgment and decided to stay. Pharrell kept on going to do evangelist work, and Calvin stayed in Geneva for a time, and then retired to Strasbourg. He was called back to Geneva when the city was in a state of chaotic mishap. Pharrell did not return with Calvin, but the two remained close, steadfast friends, even until their dying days. <laughs>